So we're going to be installing the um, rear window hinges, the lift gate glass for a 2009 Ford Expedition. The only way to do it by yourself is to lift the gate all the way up so it is level. You can do it by yourself. If uh, it's not and it's like vertical, as if like um, the, that whole section of the glass is going to pop out and it's going to fall when you're trying to do it. So the only way to do it is to have this glass level and separate or not level, but um, upright uh, because those hydraulic arms will support the lift gate and then you can work on the glass without it risking falling. So right now my son is actually helping me out. He's on the underside of the glass and he is um, screwing in the torque bit that's on the uh, underside of the glass. Um, this set that came off of uh, Amazon is um, complete. So it's got the steel or aluminum um, hinge, the plastic cover, and it's got the two uh, torque bits for both the bottom and the top of the, the hinge itself. Once completed and once you've tightened this part down, this plastic piece closes over to, uh, to uh, hide the, the whole thing. I just got the thumbs up there that it's tight. You want to pass me the screwdriver? So then once the glass is tightened, then I tighten this the rest of the way. And that should be good to go. And now we're going to do the other one. In the, uh, in the kit is the whole hinge, um, which is the full size. The torque bit for the top of the hinge. And then the torque bit with the uh, and the rubber grommet that's there as well. So that will actually hold into the um, uh, the glass. So the glass has a circular hole in it, obviously, but under this here is where that rubber grommet um, sticks up. So the rubber grommet pushes up through the glass right in there and then the outer ring is what compresses against the glass to keep the uh, vibrations Daddy. down um, the down here. thanks so then on this side on the uh, I guess the truck side um, there's also a uh, rubber a thin rubber layer as well so that presses it a little bit just to get a good seal on it this plastic piece that extends is actually to fit right into here so they've um, um, I guess the factory does it to ensure that the, the hinge doesn't be aligned move it so it'll actually align itself as you put the hinge on so as you put the hinge on you can see that it uh, nests nicely in the uh, preset groove. The hole right there lines up with the uh, opening for the uh, for the bolt, the, the torque bolt. So we actually had some uh, difficulties installing the um, left hinge and the reasoning for that was because when the lift when the lift gate drops and the glass goes ajar, um, it has its own hydraulic arms that support the, uh, the glass. And what happens is without these hinges here, it pushes the glass outwards away from it, which is why you need to um, keep the um, the glass latched while you're working on it. Um, this was problem number two when you're working on the glass um, while it's uh, while it's upright, because 
um, for one, you need to be able to take both hinges off, right? And if you take both hinges off, what's the first thing that's going to happen is those hydraulic arms are going to pop it out towards you. And then the only thing holding it in place is going to be the, um, the lock action, uh, like the, the, the window lock. So before we did the, um, the adjustment on the hinges, well, I mean, before we replaced them, this was actually rubbing on the metal. The glass wore down the paint all the way to the metal. And then of course there's on the actual door itself from all the window vibrations of it rattling about on the road. And then this side actually sticks a bit higher. So I'm not sure if it was um, the fact that the window had popped out and it affected the way this one sits or if it's just a factory um, factory issue but it's an older truck and at least now my lift gate works and I think it was like 50 bucks on Amazon for for both hinges so yeah but that's it